Hey guys, um, well, it's been two years. <laughs> um, I have been through a lot lately. Um, let's see. Since the last video, I am a teacher now. Um, I think I was student teaching at the time of my last video. Um, I have moved. The background is different. Um, my hair is shorter and it's kind of red, which is a new thing, um, like a more recent new thing. And I am engaged. So uh, my fiance just got a new job where he's going to be out of the house a lot more. So I'm thinking I'm going to have a lot of extra time to do some YouTube videos, um, maybe get back into that. So I'm really excited and I hope you guys will... Um, welcome me back even though it's been two years I know it's been kind of crazy because um, the last time I made a video I thought I was coming back and it ended up not working out um, so maybe this time <laughs> I apologize if not but hopefully um, we can continue doing YouTube videos because I do love it um, I have continued to watch YouTube videos and I've tried to keep up with um, the people that I always watched and loved so hopefully I can make videos like I used to and enjoy it so my last video two years ago was the start of a project pan <laughs> that obviously I didn't make another video to update you guys on um, so I went back through that video like literally 10 seconds ago and I looked at those products and I wanted to go ahead and update you on those products and let you know kind of how that went. Um, I did continue the project pan even though I didn't update you guys. Um, so I have a list here in front of me that has the 10 products that I have and I can kind of let you know how that went if you're interested. Um, so the first one was the Dr. Jar BB cream, which <laughs> it's been two years, but I still have. It's down to here and it's the Dr. Jart Renewalist Beauty Balm. Um, I really liked this BB cream and it does have SPF 40 in it. So um, there's not much left. And honestly, I still kind of want to use it up, but it's been two years, so I don't know if that's really a good idea. Um, let me know what you guys think. I mean, it doesn't have an expiration, but I would imagine it's expired. But it doesn't smell bad. It still works from the last time I used it. Um, let me know what you guys think, if you'd like to see me finish this or if I should just pitch it. The next thing was a sample of a Clinique mascara, um, which I still have a ton of mascara samples, but this one I've obviously used up since then and I've gone through many since, um, but I don't remember if I liked it or not. I think I enjoyed it. Um, I usually do enjoy Clinique mascaras, however, I have since gone cruelty free and I no longer purchase from Clinique, so... Um, I did enjoy that mascara, but I won't repurchase it since they are not cruelty free. My next product was the Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Primer. Sorry, I'm looking at my list over here. Um, and oh, I can't remember if I used that up or not, but I do know that I no longer use or keep um, those silicone type primers in my collection. I do not like them. I have oily, like extremely oily skin. And I just don't like that silicone slippery feeling on my face. It's not, not for me. So if I come across any of those, um, and I have since that first one that I showed you guys, um, I do not use them. I immediately get rid of them. I don't even try to use them. Um, so yeah, that one's gone. Then next I had the Hello by Harvey Prince um, perfume sample. And again, that one was used up completely. Um, I did throw it away, and I do have a lot of perfume samples still. Um, I enjoyed it. I have not purchased it. I usually don't purchase perfumes because I do have so many samples. I just don't see a point in purchasing such a large, like a large bottle of perfume that I don't use often enough. Um, 
I just need to get in the habit of using perfume, I guess. I, I don't know. But that one is gone. Uh, next, I had the Rimmel Stay Matte uh, Powder. And again, I really enjoyed that product. But Rimmel is not cruelty-free, so I will not repurchase it. Um, that was my first powder. And at the time of the video, I had just repressed it. I completely used it up and threw it away. Next was the Lord & Berry Eyeliner, which... I still have. Okay, now we're focused. Um, so this, well, kind of. Goodness. I've got a new camera, so I'm working on it. But this is the Lord & Berry Eyeliner. Um, it's black, and I do really enjoy this. I actually still really enjoy this, which is, again, kind of awful because this is over two years old, and it's so tiny. I need to use it, but the fact is... I just don't use eyeliner that often anymore. Um, it's just kind of one thing that I have taken out of my makeup routine in the morning um, to help me get ready a little quicker because um, I do teach and I live half an hour away from my school that I teach at. So I'm up really early in the morning and eyeliner is just one less thing that I have to worry about. So um, I haven't used eyeliner usually um but again what do you think about this product i know it's an eye product you should be really careful with it it says 36 months so i guess i'm still kind of within that range um but what do you think should i get rid of it should i declutter it should i use it up i need some opinions because i am just not sure what to do with it the next thing was the scandalized coal liner it was a nude eyeliner that I had and that one I did use up completely I'm sorry I have an itch um I did use up that eyeliner completely I actually ended up using it as an eye base since it was nude I would put it over my entire lid um, from the lashes up to the brows and that was my base it helped me work through that so quickly I loved it um, so However, I wouldn't repurchase that, again, not only because Rimmel is, which I think it was the Scandalizes Rimmel, um, but it's not cruelty free, and um, I have eye bases, and I just didn't use the nude as much. I had originally purchased it for my waterline, and I just didn't end up using it there that often. I didn't think it made a big enough difference to use it all the time in that area, so I didn't. Um, but yeah, using an eyeliner as an eye base really worked well for me. The seventh item was the Pixie Bronzer in Subtly Sun Touched. Um, it was a sample and I did use it up completely. Actually, not too long ago, <laughs> I used it up completely. Bronzers, I feel like, are just so hard, although that one, um, wasn't very pigmented or it was just not a very dark bronzer, so you could use a lot of it. Um, but it took me a while to get through it. Um, I did enjoy it and I would repurchase it, but I have a ton of bronzers in my collection that I need to get through. So I'm not going to repurchase it at this time. I would consider it in the future, um, because I do believe Pixie is cruelty free, which is awesome. And, um, the, I guess that was the eighth item. So the ninth item was my Clinique concealer. I liked it at the time. I did not finish it. I ended up throwing that away because it was just too dark for my skin. Um, I used to play tennis and I used to be outside constantly. So I used to have super dark complexion all the time and that's just not the case for me anymore. I'm inside all the time now so I'm pretty pale. Um, so that concealer just didn't work out for me because of the color so I ended up throwing it away plus it was really old. So I got rid of that one. And the last product I had was the Bare Minerals 5-in-1. I believe it was like, I don't remember if they called it like an IBB something. It was some kind of shadow base. And I believe I had gotten it either from a Burbage box or an Ipsy. But I did completely finish that up. I actually pulled out the stopper and used the entire thing. I did enjoy it. Um, I have not repurchased it, although I would consider. I'm not sure if Bare Minerals is cruelty free or not. 
not off the top of my head, I don't know, but if they are, I would definitely um, consider repurchase, repurchasing that in the future. So anyway, that was my project pan from two years ago, uh, if you guys are interested. And please, please let me know what other kinds of videos you'd be interested in seeing. Hopefully, if I get some feedback from you guys, I'll know what you want to see from me, and I'll hopefully have some time to make those videos. I'm really hoping this time I want to be back so badly, so I guess I just need to make that time and do it. But let me know what you guys want to see from me, and I will do my best to film it. So it feels good to be back, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you later. Bye!